Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of conics. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question is taken from the concepts of hyperbola and ellipse. And if I talk about the question, the question tells us if theta is between zero and pi over two, that is be zero and 90 degrees, and the question tells us if eccentricity of hyperbola is root 7 times the eccentricity of ellipse, where equation of hyperbola is given to us as x square minus y square cos x square theta is equals to 5. And eccentricity of ellipse that is given to us as x square cos x square theta plus y square equals to 5. Then the question is asking us to figure out the value of theta. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are pi over 6, 5 pi over 12, pi over 3, and pi over 4. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them in a better way. Let's try to solve this question now. If I talk about the question, we need to find the value of this angle theta. So first of all, let's analyze the two equations that are given to us for hyperbola and for ellipse. So if I talk about the equation of ellipse, it's told to me x square cos x square theta plus y square equals 5. Now if I have that equals 5, I'll divide this by 5. So what do I get from here is x square divided by 5 cos x square theta. I can write that here as 5 over cos x square theta plus y square over 5 is equal to 1. So from here if I see I get x square over 5 and 1 over cos x theta we know cosec theta is 1 over sin theta. So similarly, if I want to find 1 over cosec theta, it is nothing but sin theta. So I get 1 over cosec theta. It is basically sin theta. So 1 over cosec theta whole square. So it gives you sin theta the whole square, which is sin square theta. And here I get y square over 5 equals 1. So if I compare this with the equation of ellipse, it is x square over a square plus y square over b square equals 1. That gives me a square as 5 sine square theta, b square as 5. And now once I see this, 5 and sine square theta. Sine square theta, if I talk about theta between 0 and pi by 2, so sine theta has to be between 0 and 1. So square of that also has to be between 0 and 1. So multiplying that number for between 0 and 1 with 5, I get a square turning out to become lesser than b square or I can write a in this case would be less than b and when b is greater than a in that case your eccentricity equation of ellipse becomes square root of 1 minus a square divided by b square and this is the case when a is less than b. So if I try to solve this further <clears throat> 1 minus a square a square, we know it is 5 sine square theta. B square is 5. Cancel this. So you get square root of 1 minus sine square theta. And if I use the idea of identities here, identities tell us sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. So from here, I get cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sine square theta. 
And once I have that with me, I can just write square root of one minus sine square theta is nothing but square root of cos square theta. That gives me idea as cos theta. So I get the eccentricity of ellipse that is nothing but cos theta. And once I have that with me, I can find the eccentricity of hyperbola also. The equation of hyperbola, we know it is x square minus y square cos x square theta equals 5. If I divide throughout by 5, I get from here x square over 5 minus y square over 5 divided by cos x square theta is equal to 1. So from here, if I again do that, I get 1 over cos x theta is sine theta. So it becomes sine square theta. So x square over 5 minus y square over 5 sine square theta equals 1. Now, once I have that, if I compare it with my equation of hyperbola, which is x square over a square minus y square over b square equals 1. So from here, we get a square is 5 and b square is 5 sine square theta. Now, once I have a square and b square here with me for the hyperbola, we have eccentricity of hyperbola, which is square root of here you had 1 minus a square over b square. For eccentricity of hyperbola, we have it as general terms because it is plus. So eccentricity of hyperbola is square root of 1 plus b square over a square. And from here, I get this a square plus b square divided by this. So I get this as square root of 1 plus 5 sine square theta. So let's not use this idea, we'll use this same idea. So you get five sine square theta divided by five. This gets canceled and you get square root of one plus sine square theta. This is your eccentricity of hyperbola. Now, if I use the condition which is given to us here, that condition tells us eccentricity of hyperbola, it is root seven times eccentricity of ellipse. So if I use that idea here, let's see what I get. So eccentricity of hyperbola is root seven times eccentricity of ellipse. Eccentricity of hyperbola we know from the equation is square root of one plus sine square theta. Root seven, eccentricity of ellipse that is given to us here, which is cos theta. If I solve for this idea, I get one plus sine square theta. I'm squaring both the sides. So I get seven cos square theta. Now, once I have that, let's solve for this theta. So one plus sine square theta, seven. Cos square theta is one minus sine square theta. So you get seven minus seven sine square theta. And this is one plus sine square theta. So you get from here, one plus seven, so eight sine square theta is equal to seven minus one, which is six. So from here you get sine square theta, it is 6 over 8 or I can write this as 3 over 4. So from here I get sine theta is nothing but square root of 3 divided by 2. And when I have that with me, if I talk about the answer, sine theta is equal to root 3 over 2. So theta basically becomes sine inverse of root 3 over 2 and sine inverse of root 3 over 2 is 60 degrees. 60 degrees is nothing but radians pi over 3. So you get the answer for the question and that if you see matches with option C. So C becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the concepts of hyperbola and ellipse. So for this question, we get the answer as pi over 3. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying this videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.